hired somebody to come out and cut it since Bronco couldn't do it. And I can't do it. I'm highly allergic. Okay. And they worked on the chicken house. Yeah, go for me. This looks so good. Look at that. We got a brush pile I need to burn. The dogs are loving it. They're playing. They even cut up underneath the oak trees. They didn't cut this because it's all wet and murky in there. So we'll have to wait for that to dry out before we can cut it. It looks great. So we worked on this is the chicken house. And it's going to have chicken wire. It actually looks like a dog run. It probably would make a good dog run. But it's got chicken wire on it. And, um, where's it? Then zip ties. So they did this part of it. And then I think he's going to come back and kind of bow down a little bit. He's going to come back and he's going to finish the back side. They got the roof done. So all they got left to do is this whole back side and the door. And then I'm gonna put the tarp over the top and we're gonna put some uh, some other kind of metal wire around the bottom here and bring it out so that no critters can dig up underneath there and come in and get the chickens. So it's a hot day today. I could have never have done this by myself, y'all. Miss Serenity's getting ready to get in the pool. But yeah, I've hurt my shoulder. I thought I maybe have torn my rotator cuff because I've been lifting and doing a bunch of stuff around here, trying to get stuff done before he had his surgery. And I, I get hurt real easy because with lupus, your ligaments and muscles um, fatigue very easily. And then with my ligaments, they tear easily. So yeah, I messed myself up. Look at my watermelon. Look at that. It's starting to climb the little net that we put up. I planted some honeydew melons. That's right there. The, that right there. There's one. Um, I think I planted four. Yeah, there's one, two, three, and down there's four. Down here, this is going to be some cantaloupe. So. I was walk around here. Sorry if I sound like my speech is slurred. I'm so tired. I've been having to get up every couple of hours to give medicine um, to him. So look at my squash. Remember, I was worried about it producing fruit. Well, I've probably got about eight growing. And it's all spaghetti squash. I don't know how I ended up with all spaghetti squash. I, I'm telling you, I thought I was planting zucchini and summer squash. Come here, y'all. Okay. I'm trying to be careful in here. And I'm, I'm going to have to um, put that up on a runner. But... There's one that's growing. See another one back there. Look at that big one. There's another big one back there. Right there. I love spaghetti squash. But it's getting real hot in here. So I might have to put the shade cloth back up. Because look, everything is starting to wilt. Look at that. That's just, yeah, it's getting too hot in here. I, I don't understand how these peas are growing in this heat either. But uh, yeah, I think I need to probably put the shade cloth back up. I've already watered them and they're already just the heat in here from the sun. It's just taking all of the moisture out. And I picked a bunch of strawberries this morning for Serenity my onions growing. I planted herbs in this box and then I went through today and in this box I planted some zucchini squash 
and some winter squash, which is acorn squash. So, um, the people that came and did the lawn today, look at that. This is, um, hold that thought about the lawn being cut. Uh, the, this right here is um, miniature okra that's growing. Got some peppers and garlic growing. Bell peppers over there. But yeah, it is growing. I do like spaghetti squash. I've got a really good spaghetti squash casserole. What you guys doing? Okay, getting back to the people that cut the grass. They're gonna come back and do some more work for me. Um, and they're gonna, going to probably... Are y'all having fun? No rough housing, be nice. So they're gonna come back and they're gonna, going to plow it, uh, it from here all the way back through here right there and we're going to add more onto the garden that's going to be the fall garden I, either that or i probably will do that because i think in come august he should be able to get out and plant and do more stuff after having the knee surgery um so we're going to plant corn I know it's going to be late in the season, but we still have, we've got a long growing season around here. And just do the three sisters where you plant the corn and then the squash and the, and the green beans on each side of it in a mound. So we're going to do that. Over there is um, a hole that's opened up and um, we thought it was an underground spring because we could hear water running, running under it. But um, the guy that came and cut the grass, he said it's probably an old septic system. So, who would have thought? Anyhow. And I want to get some horses to put way back over here. And fence all of this off for some horses or some mules. But, yeah. So, a lot of stuff to do. Got more ceiling fans to put in, especially up in the attic it's getting so hot up there. Let's see. Are you inside the pool? There you are. Yes, I am. Is Does the pool need to be cleaned out? Let's go see if the pool needs to be cleaned out. This has been the best investment ever. Oh, yep, we've got some. It needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna have to get the net and clean it, okay? Hi, right the I have a guy who's outside going to our She likes to be camera, guys. Yeah. Good job, Serenity. I go like this. Good job. Ways. Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's take a look over here. You guys get away from there. Okay. All right. The potatoes are coming along. Looks like they're dying out. We may get to harvest some soon. And sweet potatoes are doing really good. Got our little chickens over there in that cage and the ducks over there. So I can't wait to get them out of there and get them in the, in the bigger pen over there. That'll be really a whole lot better for them. And the little turkeys, they're learning how to sound, they say, actually sound like a turkey. They don't chirp like a chicken. <coughs> Get out of the weeds over there, guys. Stop it. Come here. Are you hot, Sadie? What are you doing? Come here, Sadie. Sadie, come here. Come here. I don't want you to get on a snake. Good girl. Good girl. I know your guys are hot. Well, I'm gonna get back inside so I can get them some water. Thank y'all for watching. Just a little update. Things are gonna be a little bit challenging for about five or six weeks, but we'll get through it. 
The Lord always, always is on time. All right, guys, I'm signing off, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.